Apple Watch is on because we gotta track those steps. Let's head into the kitchen. So the coffee we're trying today is this one here. It's Fiesta Coffee Mexican Hazelnut. I got this at Winners Home Sense. You can probably get it at Marshalls if you don't have a Winners near you or something similar. They usually just have them like in the food section that they have or in the aisle when you're like about to check out. I Honestly, it just caught my eye because it has fun colors. I'm super into trying out new coffee blends lately, and it is a fairly decent price at Winners too. So if you go to the grocery store, sometimes it can be anywhere from like 10 to 12 to $15 and upward of that. But it was only $7.99 at HomeSense. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my French press today. As you guys probably already know, I use this like pretty much every single day when I make coffee at home. So I'll put a serving of this into my French press, and then we're going to froth some milk and get the coffee rolling. Oh my god, you guys, this smells so good. Wow, I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Now we're gonna let this sit for about three to four minutes. And while that is happening, we are going to froth our milk. So I'll show you guys the kind of milk that I like to use. So my personal fave right now is this zero sugar vanilla oat milk. Obviously with oat milk, it's going to be higher calorie than probably almond milk or something different. However, I'm just like so obsessed with it. So I have this every single morning when I make coffee by myself at home. And if I'm out, I'll probably get almond milk or something instead for like my second and third coffee of the day. But this one is so fire. It's so good. So we're going to go ahead and put this into our milk frother now. So the milk frother that I have is this Keurig one here. Basically, just put in as much as you want to where it says like max or whatever. Um, so I just go ahead, give it a little shake and then pour my serving of oat milk on in there. You put the top on it and it plugs into the wall. All you do is you just press it down, press start, and it's about like a minute or two of it frothing the milk. And then usually by the time this is done, my French press coffee is done and then we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stand and press start. First thing in the morning, every morning, I always have my green surge. Sometimes I'll have it twice a day just because I like this flavor so much. This is the chocolate mint flavor. Everyone was like so shocked when I tried this for the first time, put it as my story on Instagram and said it was my new favorite because everyone's just like so weird about chocolate mint. But the mint is very subtle in this and I just love that I can mix it with my chocolate protein powder, which I personally do. So I go ahead and mix it with the authentic ISO and the chocolate peanut butter flavor. I'll do a half scoop of this in the morning with one scoop of my greens. So I'm getting a little bit of protein in as well as you're just getting more of like a chocolatey flavor. It just tastes like a chocolate shake. So I'll usually just shake this up in a shaker and then put it in like one of these Starbucks cups just because it's more fun. Personally, I find when it's in one of these cups, I just drink more liquid. I don't know why. It just is what it is. I'll usually put like some ice cubes in there. You could even blend it all out, make it like thicker if you want to, but trust me when I say this is such a good combo. You get your micronutrients in, you're getting some protein in first thing in the morning. And I'll usually drink this while I'm drinking my coffee and answering some emails and getting situated for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up some greens and protein powder. My Jack Factory shaker, you already know. Code TBT at Jack Factory, you guys. It's linked down below, but you can just type in TBT at checkout and you will save on your Jack Factory supplement order. If you guys are interested in what kind of supplements that I use, you can always send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at tbakertucker. That's also linked down below for you, but you can also check out my Instagram highlights. It's usually just jacked and there's tons of information there on all my supplements that I use throughout the day. Add a little bit of milk in here just so it doesn't stick to the bottom a scoop of our greens and about a half scoop of protein powder then we go ahead and we add water so good so the mug of the day is this pretty pink and silver and white mug i have a literal mug obsession i love mugs with like cute quotes different colors my whole cupboard over there is just full of mugs i actually had to give some away recently and it hurt me a little bit but if you guys have any cool mug websites or recommendations or if you like make mugs or something reach out to me i'm looking to have some mugs made for my coaching business with my logo and everything on it and some quotes so reach out to me if you guys do that i would love to support you you guys support me here i would definitely love to support you so comment down below if you have a website or something like that or shoot me a message on instagram this might be my new favorite i love this this is so good 10 out of 10 100 check it out if you guys are like into coffee and trying different flavors out and if you like hazelnut 
this is definitely hazelnutty but it's not like super rich or super sweet it's just like the right amount of like that nutty flavor it's just a little bit of hazelnut everyone loves a little bit of nut dad if you're watching no you aren't i'm gonna go ahead and drink this coffee get some emails answered and then check back with you guys in a little bit all right you guys we are on coffee number two I'm so obsessed. I know I've said it like four times, but it is what it is. So it is around 8.30 and basically what I've done so far this morning is answer some client check-ins as well as reach out to some client inquiries. So in the mornings, I like to sit down, answer any check-ins that came in overnight. And I'm currently working with a business coach. So I will do some review for that. I have calls all week and I just like to get myself organized in the morning, figure out what it is I need to do today and then kind of map out what the day is gonna look like. Like, of course that always changes based on you know the day's events so what I'll likely do now is just clue up this email situation I'm handling and then make some breakfast but with that being said I'm gonna get back into this work finish my second coffee and then we're gonna make some food okay so we have an interruption in work here we have my beautiful twin sister on FaceTime here now we FaceTime like every morning I feel and uh, every afternoon and every evening. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in Halifax, which is like an hour and a half flight away from me. So we FaceTime a lot. And we lived in the same province for a year last year. So now we're just used to like talking all the time. <laughs> Yeah, so I give her the rundown on what's going on, and then she gives me the rundown on what's going on, and then we update throughout the day, and that's pretty much how it goes. So I'm going to chat with her, and then we're going to make some food. So I'm here crying in the club. Um, my sister is just finishing her degree at St. Mary's University and has her last class today and just submitted her final assignment, and it was an essay about growing up, and it actually just talked about a lot of things that I like don't really reflect on very much. And I just shared it on my Instagram for those of you who are interested. I'll link the post down below. But basically just talked about our childhood. Our mother personally struggles with addiction and mental illness and always had while we were growing up. And it's basically an essay about a place versus a location. And she talked a lot about like the home that we had and like some of the things that went on there and how it shaped us and curated us to be independent, you know, businesswomen and to just make a difference like you are not your situation and I guess sometimes when I get down on myself where I feel as though I could be more successful or I could do more things um I forget to reflect back on like where I came from and what I've built basically from nothing and um yeah so I'm like happy tears I guess but also just like thinking about some sentimental times that like I hold very dear to my heart and I just wanted to share that with you guys I guess because obviously I went to go make food ended up reading this essay talked to her we had a really good chat and had a little cry but it's important to feel your emotions and reflect and it's something that I work on doing more and more every single week and that I really want to get back into doing and yeah just know that if you guys are struggling with anything or you feel the odds maybe are not in your favor it's up to you to make a difference. You are completely in charge of your life and what you do and what you make of it and just push through like it does get better. Celebrate the small wins and just be grateful for what you do have and I promise things will look up. You just have to believe in yourself. So I just added 85 grams extra lean ground beef that I'm going to be putting into the omelet. It adds extra volume, extra protein, a little bit of extra fat and just helps me feel more full so more satiated obviously because there's extra volume in the omelet gonna go ahead and add in some veggies now all right so we're here with meal number one we have the omelet here a plain english muffin which clearly i didn't toast very well we have some frank's buffalo hot sauce which i am obsessed with also we have a cup of water here some glutamine and some creatine from jack factory i do a scoop of these every single morning in my water and i will sip on this after my breakfast is all done and yeah so i'm starving so i'm gonna go ahead and dive into this then mix up some creatine and glutamine so i literally look like a thumb today um it's a rest day i'm just chilling 
crew neck on, TLF joggers on, you know how it is. I'm actually heading out now to meet my friend Alicia. We're gonna go to The Sprout, which is like a pollo vegan taco brunch place here downtown St. John's. So I'm probably just gonna grab something to eat there and then we're gonna head on to her house and do some work. We both work from home and she actually lives, she just recently moved right down the street from me and we are both at home pretty much all day doing check-ins and work and everything like that. So I'm gonna head over there for a change of scenery before I have to go to a car appointment and hang out with her and do some work. And then when we get to the restaurant, I will show you guys what we decide to eat. So apparently I'm the worst vlogger ever now. Um, Alicia and I did end up going to the Sprout. I got the pineapple taco. So it's like a vegan taco with pineapple salsa, um, TVP beef and red cabbage and I think it was like jalapenos or something in it. That was pretty much it. Of course, your girl forgot to take the camera inside. We ended up doing some online work together for about two hours. Then I brought my car to get an estimate done. And then I had a lovely business call that I was on for about an hour. So I've just been kind of like sitting down, doing some online work, drinking some water. It is around... 5.45 now. Um, I'm not really that hungry yet, but I'm gonna eat shortly. But of course, if anything happens between now and then, I will update you all. <laughs> so we have a pretty boring basic meal here now, just some steak strips. So I have like lean steak here and 65 grams of white basmati rice. So I have yoga in about an hour and I'm gonna leave in about 40 minutes or 35 minutes. So I'm gonna eat this now and then get myself ready to go to yoga. So we have our outfit on. I have the temple leggings from TLF and this nice little cropped loose fit sweat wicking tee from TLF. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing to yoga because it is hot yoga and I do get super warm. My food feels digested, I feel good. This is actually yin yoga, so it's like a stretching form of yoga, which I can definitely use. So a pretty good activity for an active rest day. And yeah, I will have to eat a little bit more when I get back. I do have some macros left. So I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna have while I'm at yoga, get creative hopefully, and show you guys my next meal once I get back. But it's time for me to go ahead and get my sweat on now. So I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. So yoga is all done. So like I said, it was yin yoga. So we just did a lot of long stretching poses. Um, it wasn't oh, like amazing. I didn't love it this time. I really liked it last week. We did a bit of a different practice, I guess. I don't know how you really say it. My yoga terms are like not on point. But I'm really glad I still got out to do that. Definitely nice to take like an hour away from being on my phone, from like talking to people. I tend to kind of just be like go, go, go all of the time. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my last little snack or meal of the night. So we're gonna do a shake. So what I do for my shakes is honestly pretty simple. I usually do like smoothie bowls and stuff too. Um, is add frozen fruit, a little bit of like almond milk, cashew milk or oat milk, some water and I'll add a scoop of authentic ISO. I like to kind of do a combo of fruit normally, like blueberries and strawberries. However, all I have right now are strawberries. If you don't have frozen fruit and you have regular fruit, I recommend adding an ice instead if you want it to be like a thicker consistency. And of course, the more liquid that you use, the more like watery or drink-like it will be. But I kind of like it to be like medium consistency. So I'll just show you guys what I put into my smoothies. So what I'll do first is put a little bit of milk in there. We have the chocolate peanut butter authentic iso vanilla also is very good in your smoothies but i just personally like the kind of like strawberry chocolate flavor it reminds me of like neapolitan ice cream i don't know if that's weird or not comment down below if you think that chocolate and strawberry flavored protein smoothies or shakes is weird a lot of people just go for vanilla all right, so now that this stuff is in here, I will just top it off with water. Um, oat milk obviously has a lot more calories in it than cashew milk or almond milk would, so I'll just mix it with water too. Plus with the chocolate protein powder, it kind of ends up being more chocolatey anyways. So I top it off with water and then I blend. So here is the final product. This is the consistency. Obviously it's a decent amount. So what we're gonna do now, because I have some carbs and fats left, is a little bit of ground chia seed. We have some of this crispy light granola. So the macros for this granola is actually really good. It's for a serving size, 10 grams of fat, 38 carb, and five protein. Um, so it's not like a protein granola, but it's super light. So I don't find it too bad. A lot of granola can be super high in fat. I personally like to use a different kind, but this is what I have right now, and it tastes really good in like shakes or smoothies or smoothie bowls. And then we're gonna do some shredded coconut on the top to finish it off. 
And there is the final product. So before we go ahead and close out this video, I got a package from TLS. So I'm going to unbox it, show you guys what I got. So let's go ahead, get the package, and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, this is the new TLF crew. I am obsessed. It's navy, nice little logo here, nice stitched logo on the back. I'm gonna try this on for you guys and show you what it looks like in a second. So I told you guys in my last try on for TLF from the contour collection, I wanted to grab a different color in one of the sports bras. So this is the blue color. So pretty, so excited. Check out my full try on haul if you're interested in seeing how these look like on me. It is in my try on playlist in my most recent videos. But look at those colors. They're so, so nice. Ignore the mess in the background, but Oh my goodness, I am obsessed. This is so nice. These shorts are also from TLF too. They're super comfy for like around the house and stuff. You guys can save with TLF, TLF-TBT. That's where I get all of my gym clothes and like my loungewear. So check it out. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Check out my playlist if you want to see how they all fit on me. I always do try-ons when I get new products and try out new collections. So yeah, check it out. The link is down below. This navy sweater is like the best thing that I own right now. So I'm going to wear this. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this kind of content from me. And check out my Instagram for daily content if you kind of want to see what I'm up to in between vlogs and videos. See you guys in the next one.